Mental health. Before COVID-19, mental health still had an impact on people's daily lives. But now that the COVID-19 pandemic has happened, there's been a lot of positive and negative impacts. And I'm here today to show you just that. New data from the CDC shows more than a third of high school students are struggling with their mental health. Almost half of teens said that they felt persistently sad or hopeless, and one in five say they have contemplated suicide. The COVID crisis has taken a psychological toll on all of us, but teens are especially hard hit. Instead of going to class and hanging out with friends, teenagers have been banished to a life of screens, solitude, and uncertainty. While there is and forever will be a stigma towards mental health issues, the pandemic helped lessen it. Because so many people are experiencing mental health issues during COVID, many people are advocating for themselves to get the help they need. If you don't think any of the effects of COVID-19 has happened locally, you are wrong. I sent out a survey to the school student body and what I got back was astonishing. These data tables all show that more than half of the students who answered this survey have been affected negatively by COVID-19. From affected relationships with others to feeling isolated with no ability to be productive in school and out of school. My name is Elizabeth Foster, a school counselor at Sharon Center School. I always wanted to be a counselor like my entire life. Um, and I started substituting, I think it was, when my children were very little and I decided I really liked the school environment. And so being able to combine the two, counseling and being in school, I thought was just the best of both worlds. Best decision I ever made. So it certainly did um, affect me. I didn't, I wasn't able to, um, you know, I guess be as available for the students because everything was virtual. Um, and I felt very disconnected from them. We definitely did our best to make it work. I think, um, you know, we did a good job given the circumstances, but that, um, yeah, I, it just was not, as um, effective, I think, doing it on a computer as opposed to, be, there's something really, I think, unique and special about being face-to-face -face with a student who might be going through a hard time and um, just being able to communicate that way. It's, I feel like it was really kind of lost on the computer virtually. Yeah. Yeah, so really the biggest change, I mean, for me personally, was, you know, not having that one-on-one -on -one with the students. Um, but I think, you know, some of the biggest impact really was for the students yeah. because they, uh, you know, especially young kids, I think, really develop their social skills by being around other students, um, by having a structured environment. Really, there was no structure. Everyone was at home. Kids were kind of engaged sometimes, but, um, you know, not, definitely not to the extent that they are in school. So it was, it was a very challenging time, you know, I think for the teachers, but especially, I think, for the students. Do. I, I really do. And I think that definitely um, is because of the pandemic and all the virtual learning and all schools, all students are kind of in the same boat. It's been very challenging.
I do as a school counselor, I see anxiety um, as being a real, um, you know, a real problem right now for a lot of students. And I've been here for 10 years and I don't think I've ever had as many students who are literally coming and saying, I'm feeling very anxious, having panic attacks. So yeah, it's, it's definitely increased since then. there's a greater number of children that are, I would definitely say um, since the pandemic, yes. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when you have a pandemic, it, it's scary, you know, just in general. And I think those fears really can trigger anxiety. And it certainly did for the adults. And I think it did for the students as well. I don't think it's gotten worse. Um, I really don't. I think that it's gotten more challenging. I think trying to meet the needs of, um, you know, the post pandemic anxiety and really just trauma. A lot of it is just PTSD, you know, things that wouldn't have triggered somebody now since the pandemic would trigger fear, um, anxiety. So, yeah, depression even. I know a lot of people were kind of alone, not being able to be, a lot of students not being able to be with their friends and whatnot. I, you know, I don't think mental health has gotten worse. I just think that it's um, more challenging and it's harder, easier in some ways to identify and harder in some ways.